afternoon, brothers and sisters. Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, to today the Church celebrates the holiness of St. Anthony Mar Mary Claret, Bishop. He is considered the uh, founder of the Claritians. Let us ask the intercession of the Blessed Anthony Mary Claret especially for our fellow men and women who are being hit by this uh, typhoon, Christine. Let us pray for everybody's safety. To make ourselves less unworthy of this Eucharistic celebration, let us acknowledge our sins and ask God's pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who for the evangelization of peoples strengthened the Bishop St. Anthony Mary Claret with admirable charity and long-suffering, grant through his intercession that seeking the things that are yours, we may earnestly devote ourselves to winning our brothers and sisters for Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that he may grant you, in accord with the riches of his glory, to, the, to be strengthened with power through his spirit in the inner self, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith that you rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the holy ones what is the breadth and length and height and depth, 
and to know the love of Christ that surpassed knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to accomplish far more than all we ask or imagine, by the power at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp, with a, with a ten-string lyre, chant his praise. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. For upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. His loves justice and right of the kindness of the Lord the earth is full. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. But the plan of the Lord stands forever. The design of his heart through all generations. Blessed are the nation whose God is the Lord. The people he has chosen for his own inheritance. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. But see, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have come to set the earth on fire, and how I wish it were already blazing. There is a baptism with which I must be baptized, and how great is my anguish until it is accomplished. Do you think that I have come to establish peace on earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. From now on, a household of five will be divided, three against two and two against three. A father will be divided against his son and a son against his father, a mother against her daughter and a daughter against her mother, a mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. I have come to set the earth on fire and how I wish it will already blazing. Naglalagablab. My dear brothers and sisters, what does the fire do? Based on our experience, fire gives us warmth in it. 
especially during cold days, those who have experienced winter in other countries, no, they set fire because they want to feel the warmth from the fire. That is why the image of the sacred heart no, of Jesus is he holding his heart on fire. He is full of warmth. Kaya yung mga asawa ninyo na nanlalamig na sa inyo, no, ipagdasal nyo, sana ay magliyab ang init ng pagmamahal muli sa iyong puso. Huwag nyo namang ipagdasal na sana ay mag-apoy ka. No? Iba yun, no? Okay, so coldness against the warmth of fire. The second is fire gives us illumination before the advent of these electric lamps. Posts were lit with candles or with, with lamps, with uh, kerosene, kerosene lamp, especially in major streets during the Spanish time, for example. I could imagine Intramuros no, with its streets no, being lit by lamp posts. But even now, we have experience of brownout once in a while, especially at night. And the first thing, well, before the advent also of flashlights, lights, the first thing that we look for was candle. So fire gives light to us, provides light. The third is fire cleanses, purifies, especially metal. It destroys anything that is impure in the metal. Like for gold, no, like gold, gold that has gone through fire. So, my dear brothers and sisters, if we take the picture of Jesus sending fire on earth, we can normally understand Jesus ascending warmth, the warmthness of his love. We can also easily understand the light of Christ, but hardly we take the fire of Christ as purification. Jesus, Jesus' fire purifies us and removes in us any dearth of sin. That is fire. And that is the meaning when Jesus said, Do you think that I came to establish peace on earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. Division. Sabi niya, hindi kapayapaan kundi pagkakahiwahiwalay. Now, you have to admit, this is not too, too easy to understand at first hearing. Huh? Hindi pa si Jesus ay prinsipe ng kapayapaan, prince of peace. Ano yung sinasabi niyang division? Well, it is connected with purification. Jesus came to purify us. And there will be people who will, who will reject that purification. There will be people who will reject that inv in invitation to be purified. Even in one family, there will be people who will be willing to be purified and then there will be others who will be unwilling to be purified. Naakaka Siguro nararanasan ninyo yan, lalo na yung mga active sa simbahan. Yung mga madalas magsimba, yung mga magli naglilingkod sa simbahan. Kumisan, sino ang nagiging kontrabida? Hindi ba? Ang sarili niyong pamilya. Misan sasabihan kayo, oh, umuulan, pupunta ka sa simbahan, no? Hayaan mo si Father doon, no? Dito ka na sa bahay. Pamilya. Oh, nagsimba ka na noong isang linggo, ah. magsisimba ka na naman ngayon? Oh, bakit araw-araw ka nagsisimba? Misan, kapamilya. There is division. And Jesus came to purify those people who have not yet, no, have not yet accepted the light of Christ, the warmth of Christ. 
Ganun na lang ang pag-ibig ni Kristo na hindi siya hihinto hanggat hindi tayo nalalagay sa maayos. Christ's love will not rest until we are lovely. That is the meaning of the gospel. He came to bring fire. That fire will result in division. But the, the purpose of that division is unity, to unify us under one family of God. Isa sa mga hindi maintindihan na turo ng simbahang katoliko ng mga kapatid nating hindi katoliko ay ang purgatorio. Sa bagay, kahit mga ibang katoliko, hindi na rin naniniwala sa purgatorio eh. Ano ang nasa likod ng turo ng purgatorio? Ito'y walang makapapasok sa langit ng hindi dumadaan sa paglilinis. Kaya yung isang kaluluwang namatay na. At sa paningin ng Diyos ay karapat dapat sa langit ay dadaan muna sa isang estado ng, bu- ng kanyang buhay kung saan siya lilinisin sa mga natitirang dumi ng kanyang kaluluwa. That is the fire that purifies. God wants us to be with Him in heaven and He will purify us so that we may be able to enter heaven. Let us pray for that kind of fire. A fire that will warm, a fire that will illuminate, a fire that will purify. Amen. Please all stand. Trials and troubles may come our way, but we are confident that God the Father will not fall short in His promise to those who are faithful and persevering. To every petition, our response would be, Make our lives worthy of You, O Lord. Make our lives worthy of You, O Lord. That the leaders of the Church who are openly persecuted may be given the courage and strength to remain constant in their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Make Make our our lives lives worthy worthy of you, you, O Lord. That parents may have the strength and courage to guide their children in the ways of faith and Christian life. Let us pray to the Lord. Make our lives worthy of you, O Lord. That families and communities divided by religion, differences, religious differences, may discover the truth and show respect to one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Make our lives worthy of you, O Lord. That the sick, the elderly, and the disabled may receive love and attention from their family and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Make our lives worthy of you, O Lord. That those who have died may be happy forever in the kingdom of the Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Make our lives worthy of you, O Lord. God, our Father, you sent your Son to help us in our struggles. Comfort us in our pain and give us the strength to always act with trust in your word. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer. 
which earth is given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please all stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Look with favor, O Lord, we pray on the offerings we set upon this sacred altar on the feast day of blessed Anthony Mary, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of Saint Anthony Mary, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, including Anthony Mary, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please all kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please all stand. Let us pray. By the power of this mystery, O Lord, confirm your servants in the true faith, that they may everywhere profess in word and deed the faith for which blessed Antony Mary Claret never ceased to labor and for which he spent his whole life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Eucharist has been offered. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Ingat po sa pag -uwi.